awfully sad, doesn't he? What's wrong? Did you forget to put the letter of the day in your backpack? No, it's in there. Oh, well, let's take a look. Poor Izzy. Let me see. Oh, Izzy, it's the letter Z. Wait, that's not why you're sad, is it? Is this a letter that you don't like? No, I like it. Then what's the problem? I feel sad for Dolores. You feel sad for Dolores? You mean our slow Loris friend? Uh-huh. Why? She's lonely. She has never seen another slow Loris. She's never seen another slow Loris. Well, that makes sense, Daisy. Most slow Lorises live in Southeast Asia. We live in North America. Those are two very different parts of the world. So she'll never see another slow horse? Um, well, actually, she might be able to. And I think the letter Z can help us. <gasps> How? Well, zoo starts with Z. Zoo starts with Z. That's the sound made by letter Z. I can zoom on down to the zoo with Dolores. They have animals from all over the world, crazy. Maybe one of them is a slow Boris. <gasps> Come on, Alphabet Adventurers. Let's take a trip to the zoo now on ABC Play With Me. ABC Play With Me. Brought to you by the Howard Whittemore Memorial Library. Here we are, Dolores. Welcome to the zoo. Where are the slow horses? Oh, well, I think we might be in the part of the zoo for animals who can fly. Huh? Well, look behind us. Those are parrots. Oh, yes. Not only can parrots fly, but they're covered in Z for zany colors. Right? Yeah. Those colors help parrots to attract one another so that they can have baby parrots. Plus, those colors help the parrots to hide from animals who might want to eat them. <gasps> yeah, that's called camouflage. Very nice, but where are the slow lorises? Well, can slow lorises fly? No. Mm, then I think we're in the wrong part of the zoo. Oh. But I know, this zoo is big. Why don't we split up? Huh? Well, what I mean is, You'll look for Solorises in one part of the zoo, and I'll go look for Solorises in a different part of the zoo. That way we'll be able to find them faster. Okay, I'll look over here. See ya! Oh, good luck, Dolores! Oh no, these are bats! Bats are nocturnal like Solorises. We're asleep during the day and awake at night, but bats are very different animals! down when they sleep. That hanging position in the air helps them to take off when it's time to wake up and fly. Oh, where are the animals who can't fly? Where are the slow lorises? Maybe we'll have more luck finding a slow loris over here. Wait, is that an octopus? Look at how it uses its eight arms to move. An octopus protects itself from other animals who might want to hurt it with venom or a poison that its body produces. A slow loris produces venom too, but it looks like I'm in the part of the zoo for animals who live under the water. A slow loris spends a lot of its time climbing trees, so I don't think I'm going to find one over here. Maybe we better take a nursery rhyme break to regroup. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Quick. Most people don't realize that there's a lost verse to that nursery rhyme, but I found it and I'm going to share it with you now. This verse features words that start with the letter Z. 
So listen for the z sound. Zoe, Zoe, when the weather's snowy, dreams of her garden in summer with zinnias and zucchini and zillions of cucumbers. Uppercase C. Lowercase C. The letter Z. Are you any slow lowerses over here? No, that's a sea otter. Sea otters are endangered animals. That means they're at high risk of going extinct. Oh, huh? Extinct? Oh, extinct means there won't be any more of them, like dinosaurs. Oh. Slow lorises, and some species of us anyway, are endangered too. But even though sea otters can go on land, mm -hmm, they can also live their whole lives in water. Those slow lorises are not marine animals. Oh, I hope Marissa is having greater luck looking for slow lorises than I am. Look, a prairie dog. We found the land animals. But prairie dogs are fast. They can run up to 35 miles per hour. And slow lorises are slow. I guess we better keep looking. Oh, do you know what that is? It's a Z for zebra. <gasps> now, slow lorises can have a stripe down their backs, but they're nothing like zebras, which are black with white stripes all over. Hey, that reminds me of a joke. What's black and white and red all over? A zebra with a sunburn! <laughs> Which side of a zebra has the most stripes? The outside! <laughs> oh, why do zebras have stripes? Because they don't want to be spotted. <laughs> Why is a zebra so bad at dancing? Because he had two left feet. <laughs> what do zebras have that no other animal has? Baby zebras! <laughs> Z is for zebra. that Dolores doesn't have to be lonely for another slow Loris anymore. And I enjoyed our trip to the zoo. Did you? It's a good thing that AZ delivered the letter Z to us today because without letter Z, zoo would be ooh. Zoo would be ooh. Zoo would be ooh. Without letter Z, zoo would be ooh. We really need that z, z. Z. Now that we have the letter Z, let's add it to our collection. As you can see, some of the letters are gray. Those are the letters we haven't talked about yet. But every week when AZ delivers a new letter to us, we add that colorful letter to our collection. So let's add the letter Z all the way at the end of the alphabet now. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we have letter Z, U, C. 
next Wednesday more ABC Play with me. Thanks for watching. Come back next Wednesday for more ABC Play with me fun. Have a great week, Alphabet Adventures. Thanks for watching. Come back next Wednesday. Bye.